Hello, my name is Gavin. This is GPTV, and I have made a lot of videos on this Honda Accord with little secret things that you probably didn't know about. So uh, this one, this video now is about how to get into the developer menu or the secret menu, as people say. Okay, so I'll show you now. Okay, so just turn your keys to the second position and you'll see the stereo starts to come on here now. And you will see that I will get a warning or a, a disc read error uh, displayed on this little screen here. There is their DVD disc reading error. Please consult your dealer. Now that happens because the disc that's in the boot there in the uh, in the DVD drive in the sat nav kind of little box in the boot. There is right there. You press this button here, press it hard, and then the eject button. And the eject button. There we go. And there is the disc. So this is my disc and this one does not work. It's out of date. So it's version 3.23. I don't use the sat nav anyway. I use the sat nav on my phone. Um, I don't use the system whatsoever. So I just didn't even bother with it. Um, I probably will get it before I sell the car or something so that the next person will have it, you know, but that's it. I wouldn't I wouldn't really think about getting it for myself. If I come across a disc for cheap or something, I might do it. But um, anyway, so it's 8.32 right now on my clock, but it's not. It is 9.32, 9.33, 9.33, 9.33. Here we go. Ready? Let's see if there's a change. Let's see if there's a change, 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 33. Yeah, see, look at that. Right, so I just want to show you now how to get into the secret menu so that we can see can we change that time, right? We can't. I already know we can't. So what you want to do is you want to hold your cancel button, your map button, and your menu button all at the same time. So that, that, and that all at the same time. And hold it for about three seconds. There. One, two, three, and then this menu will come up. And when you have this menu up, you can go into, you can use this here to turn and go into one of these, okay? But if you're, if you, there's nothing in that menu that you want, you can hold the menu button for another three seconds. One, two, three, and then this will come up. And this has two menus in it, as you can see down the bottom there. So if I go down to GPS send time, press the, press the enter button here, the middle button, and then here it is here, see? So my GPS is set for the year 2004. I don't know why, it's just reset back in January last year, it reset to the year 2004. So if I wanna change the hour to nine hours, which is the wrong time, remember? So if I wanna change that to nine, and then I wanna change this year to 2023, would you believe? 2023. And let's just, right, we, we change the month as well. Well, we'll change the month, but it doesn't really matter anyway. It's not going to work either way, okay? Uh, what date is it now? It is the, the 5th. Right, and then if I go all the way back up here and go set, see, nothing happens. The time up here, that time up there should be changing, but it's not. Look, nothing is happening. So it doesn't work. But if you press return, you can go into anything else you want and try to calibrate the whole system and whatever you want to do. You can try everything you want. But there is nothing in here that will help you to reset your time whatsoever. Nothing. See, DVD is the problem there. You see? Go all the way up to the top and return and then go into the next one down and the same here unit check gps information all that type of stuff none of it actually works well it all works but like you cannot uh, reset your station or your 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 time uh, with any of this okay so there look G gps gps and it says that it's okay. Do you see what I mean? Like there's nothing, you can't change it. There's nothing you can do. Display. Detecting. See, everything's all okay. It's just the GPS uh, DVD is out of, there you look, see? 
the DVD is out of uh, it's out of date, so you have to get a new DVD. So I just thought I would make that little video. Now, actually, hold on before you go anywhere. Hold on, go back out of this first. Oh no, oh, back out, back out, back out. Now, if I go all the way up here, right. So it goes back to this screen. But if I put on my CDs, let's say, right, and lower it down so I don't get any copyright strikes. I can still hold my audio button and it will still bring up this menu and I can still change the settings of things uh, in this menu so I can still change the bass and the treble and whatever and um, I can still do all of that in this menu and you just press cancel to go back out of that and um, there's, there's not much else I can do on here yes I can repeat the track and I can uh, disc repeat as well but what I'm saying is, um, there is, you can still do that. You can still do some things, but you can't do anything else. Like if I hold this here, nothing is happening. Nothing, whatsoever. So there's not like there's nothing else I can do. Not, I can't do anything with that. I can't change it. I can't just have a nice screen or whatever. So every time I get in, I see this, and every single time I just press that, that, and then that, and then it turns it off, or I can turn it back on again. So there's nothing I can do. I can't do anything with it. It's just there. That you know what I mean. It's just there. So I do have to get a disc. They're not that expensive. They're probably between twenty and eighty euro, depending on where you get it. You can get one off the internet or something for probably twenty euro. But if you go to a Honda main dealer, it'll probably be eighty euro. But like I said, I don't really actually care about it at all. I don't watch the. Uh, sorry, I don't use the sat nav whatsoever. I don't really need it. So I just never bought the disc. Um yeah so anyway if that happens with your car you can get into the developer menu and you can try to reset things but it's not going to work um i just wanted to show you that there is a developer menu and like if you're trying to mess around with your own stereo and to see can you find a way of resetting it there is no way of resetting it apart from taking the disc out and changing the disc for a newer updated version that's it so if you want to go off and try it yourself and check it out and see can you actually change anything yourself Maybe it'll work in your car. I don't know, but it's, it didn't work on my car and a lot of other people that I've, I've showed, it didn't work on their car either. So it's there if you want to try it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please come back and see some of the other videos that I have on this car. Uh, I'm not going to explain them. I'll just go into my page, my, my channel, and have a look at some of the other. I have a playlist for this Honda Accord. So if you're interested in the Honda Accord, I have a playlist and you can see all of the other videos that I've made on this Honda Accord in that Honda Accord playlist. Okay, thanks, bye.